Ladies and gentlemen, how you all doing? This is Con Ulrich. This is Rang Rulo. Hello, hello. And folks, we got flam pants over here on Shechedrin, so I'm not gonna get take up too much of your space. Rang, we like I said, Shechedrin, what's going on? Monthly tournament, who do we have? Left hand side in the blue, we have Tigger playing the home and gone Falks and Jaeger Panzer Division with a Maverick income. And on the right hand side in red, we have the new North Division being piloted by her Robert with a Vanguard income. Super exciting. I know you gave me the lowdown here just a couple seconds ago about this new division. So, what do we expect from the Yugoslav Partisans? So, they are mean division. They're not really supposed to be good as. The more of a partisan division than for frontline fighting, but really just a lot of cheap, decent infantry spam, very poor anti tank in general, and a lot of air spam as well, potential. But in this case, Robert didn't really take a whole lot of air power, so he's really just gonna have to rely a lot on all of the partisans. Knife fight to the north, forgive me, but knife fight to the north. Check this out so many machine Holy guns and, and Sturm Pioneers and boys rifles and this is ridiculous. Yeah, it's just like so dumb looking. We got the flam just coming in. But this is gonna be I think a bit tough for her, Robert, as he does lack a lot of anti tank. And Tigger has brought in a lot of very good fire support vehicles. I mean you got all the recon cars, you got all the support vehicles as well, the Panzer Free and the Flam Panzers. I mean, those S forty fives are gonna have to pick up a lot of slack. True. Uh, B twenty six Marauder coming on in, nuking a couple of materials here. Now, quick thing as before, I guess before they get killed, they look right about now. Like you said, there are some rather plucky infantry, very very solid. Don't get me wrong. And about eighteen different versions of just anti tank rifles and rifles. I mean, it, it's almost impossible just to kind of tell you everything that exists inside this division in terms of just straight yeah. weaponry. Yeah, it's just cheap and spammy infantry is really the best way to describe it. There's nothing like like super infantry style, like some dude with like 17 SCGs and a MG42. But it's just lots of boat actions and like Molotovs and all of that. True. True, true, true. Do you find myself rather amused by the fact that some of them have solar thrones and some of them have boys anti-tank rifles? Yes, it's... I had to make do with what I got. Yes, a lot. indeed. No, it wasn't. Uh, no. Drill down to the south, looking to try to barbecue some of these um, Yugoslavian troops here. Which actually, I'm guessing right about now, technically is no longer the accepted term for them. But, um, you know, the jury's out. These guys have uh, <laughs> M38s galore. They got, you know, uh, the Carcano M91s. So that's the, you know, the bolt action rifle from forever ago from the Italians. Um, and in the center, the Lochi Tenkova, with their boys, they are engaging two light vehicles. They die, but you know what? They were just dash, garn, just good luck to them. That's all I can say. Yeah. And we've seen Tigger really invest a lot of armor up north. He's got the T-34 Russian going in hot with the flam panzers, which I like to see. But her Robert has been able to take the position. He's got, I don't want to really call them anti-tank guns, the uh, Italian 47 mils, uh, they're barely anti-tank to begin with, but he got them up north, and he also got the S-35 a bit close. Yeah, a little bit outgunned, but he could probably pick off one or two of these Panzer Freeze before they... He's got a 75 mil. Oh, he does. Oh, yeah. He has... He gets two. One card. Or he gets two. two. Okay. He has one card of the Pike 40 and one card of Pike 38, which you're going to have to do a lot of heavy lifting. A, a lot of heavy lifting. But you know what? These guys in the front, they're doing their job. They're supposed to be there taking... Oh, wow, and they're getting kills already, actually. So I, I can't hate on them too, too much. Yeah, the S-25 is honestly not that bad of a tank. It's really the, one of the best tanks a uh, French man's built before, you know, like, lost the war early on. Yeah, but it's not exactly what you want to hear. It's actually not that bad. It's kind yeah. of a rough way to talk about it. Uh, B-26 coming in again, though, trying to... Stress all those T 34s. Nukes one. And while this pack 40 is going to go down just by just getting virtue just getting shellacked from every angle, the 47 mils might be enough just to like crit out the T 34. Yeah, they do fire fast enough to just, you know, cause a lot of suppression damage here. And we've got more S 35s in the back line as well. So yeah, might just have enough. Dacker to ward him off. 
Well, I love the fact he's bringing 47 mil in super close, and these T-34s are going right next to it. He's going to catch him in the flank. He's actually going to get two kills here. Watch this. I said he could, he for the record. off the flank. He could. He could. I'll avoid the fact that I said could. <laughs> yeah. He got one. You know, you know your anti-tank gun's great when you bounce off the side of a T-34. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. We've got the auto-armored cars up north and down south, flanking about, just ignoring the infantry. Getting themselves into a very nice position here to hit the S-33s from the side. Or S-35s from the side. Uh, the, the S, though, and the S-35s are screwed. Um, yeah. So we can see one of those go down just about now. 47 mils desperately cranking around, trying to engage the 231, even as the guy behind him hits him with a 100 mil. Yeah. Oh, jeez. This is ugly. I, I can't watch. That's like watching baby seals get clubbed. Um, yes. Down to the south, the town fight is, as you might expect it, vicious. As all these Valkyries move on, an Airsatch troop, and more Valkyries, and my Pioneer is coming the other direction, as well as the Commandeer. So, if you're looking for the most expensive thing in the entire deck, it almost isn't an airplane, it's just the officer unit. <laughs> Which is. is wild to think about, but... But these Pioneer are pretty good infantry squads for 20 points, they're beefy as hell, and yes, they're only about axe and rifles and Carcanos, yeah. But, but they do have satchel them. charges, and you don't have to really be that motivated to chuck a satchel charge <laughs> at 100 true. meters. Well, the funny thing, too, is that yes, they only have bolt action, but there's 15 freaking bolt action. So again, yeah, you're not getting much suppression, but when you multiply that by 15, there you go. That's yeah. a little bit better. They're taking a Valkyrie squad, and when you can when you can buy two to one every single time, that's still really, really damn good. Yeah, and up close, you just, you know, eat that grenade, and anybody dies. No one survives. True. True. Uh, more Pioneers moving on in. Commandeer gets brought on in. Northern side, it's all about that freaking just armor push. And actually, right now, they have Piats, and that's it. And the Marauder comes back in for, a, you know, an nth time, which is I think it's the only thing he's going to really be able to do, is just bomb this guy to hell and back. Yeah. Armada is pretty scary, because it does pretty much have almost 2,000 kilograms of big kaboom, and as we see, it is enough to actually blow up a tank. And most of the township around it. Yep. And even the Valkyrie, who was not within 200 meters, just still decides that it's better to keep their heads down, which I can kind of understand. I very respectable position on their part. This is where it's going to get a bit tough here for her role, but it's already lost a decent amount of tanks and anti-tank firepower up north. And the Tigger is getting into a pretty decent position here. He doesn't have a whole lot of tanks left, but if he was to secure himself onto the opposing lung, you know, his lung has been wrapped a little bit just by only really two infantry squads. That's not scary to deal with. You know, of course, you don't know how much is that. Oh, there's also an anti-tank gun behind lines. you got to keep an eye on that guy. Oh, yeah, the, 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 the Pack 40. Oh, yes, picks yeah. up one just about now. I'm sorry, I was watching the Zerg rush below as oh. <laughs> Robert just said everything. Control A, move. He's he's A moving. It's fantastic. And I yeah. love the fact that the proletariat is right there with a Panzerhaus MG-34s and, and just like, those guys are scary. Yeah, it's just a random hodgepodge of whatever the hell they could find. But they're so good. Yeah, 20 points. Yeah, yeah for 20 points, it's not bad at all. Raider Trait, Panzerfaust, two SMGs, MG30. That's not bad. That's really not bad. And yes, when a grill fires and turns them all into paste, that does suck. But <laughs> all this infantry can't get anywhere close. Because the proletariat just starts hammering them with machine gun fire and bolt actions to start to support it. You can see though, yeah. this this pioneer comes in, this Fuhrer comes in, and this officer, not expecting to get shot at all, gets pounded. Absolutely pounded. Absolutely. I also like how he had to buy a second grill, because his first grill ran out of ammunition and he doesn't have any supply trucks to a B phase. Yeah, I do like how he's using the grills, as he's just using them as a fire position artillery, mm -hmm. which works well. I mean, there's two choke points, pretty much the road being those choke points. And you just kind of keep shooting, 150 millimeters will eventually dissuade people from coming a little bit too close. But not, not that much, it seems, as her robot is just going to keep on, you know, the push, the push of the proletariat. 
Yeah. You know, actually, I just I watched a video the other day about the Decemberists, and I'm not saying those guys are the, you know, the, the proto-proletariat, but um, I don't know, man. I just, I just that For some reason, that comes to mind as you're just watching this wave of red just kind of charge down the street. Yeah. That's a lot of dudes. So I'm just thinking, you know, one good bombing run or off-map artillery strike, and down they go. But alas, that will not be happening. There's not a whole lot of air power or really artillery from Tiger's side. He's invested heavily in more of the direct armor firepower. Yeah, which is a very understandable idea, and I, you got to respect it. Um, yikes, T-34 is engaging the S-35 from huge amounts of range. But right now... The grills are probably going to die. And, oh yeah. And right now, those guys to the north, the armor push is deadly, but that pack forty-five, uh, that pack forty, not pack forty-five, um, sitting in defilade, not a whole lot to fear. Yeah, we're just seeing a pretty heavy investment here from Tigger and South. A lot of tanks. I I think he probably overinvested a little bit too much in tanks here. I understand tanks are pretty good against infantry, but it's, it's a town fight, and it gets a little bit dangerous if you bring in your tanks this close. Yep. Yep. And like you said, Pioneer coming on forward, not a whole lot of bravery necessary just to yeet a high explosive in through the window, and they do so. And the Valkyries, apparently, well, they're selecting themselves as being the, the slain in this particular case. Yeah. We've seen the S-35 and Blindata flank around down south, where it's a lot less armored heavy. And they can knock out both grills would be a very good kill. True. Well, S-35 kills one, and the other grill goes down to the blind. Yeah. Now, there yeah. is... There are a couple of troops here. Like the Borshi, for example. These guys, I, I don't know if I really feel as as plucky about them. Uh, they're engaging air slash troop right about now, and also, which means they'll probably kill both of them. But... I don't know. How, how do you feel with the 20 points in this case? I'm, I'm, I'm conflicted. Yeah, just more standard rifle squads, really. They're yeah. not been super crazy. They do get the Rage of Trace, Trait, which is nice, but, uh, you know, I, I, I do kind of prefer my, my disheartened GT dudes. I just I just like the idea of just a bunch of guys like, uh, I guess we'll run into machine gun fire and pack a satchel charge. <laughs> Let's go do it for Stalin. Yeah. Well, Tito. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Uh, they, they, they love their vodka. Oh, wrong Tito. Yeah, you're fun. Solo third behind enemy lines here. He is taking out an armored car, so sells his life for the cause and does a very good job while doing it. And these T-34s, yeah, they, they are there, and they're going to check the rush for now, but Herr Roberts got the territory. What does he care? Yeah, he's pretty much... You're not going to be extending really much from that position anyway. If you can get that far southern flag, that would be ideal. But even now, it's... Tigger reasonably cannot get into that town. Period. Full stop. Exclamation mark. It's an absolute red bloody tide. They have seized the means of the houses and of the small arms. It's just... There's no way. Tigger just needs to focus in the center and up north to really have a good shot run in this match. Well, the, the funny thing about this is, first of all, a Storm Pioneer moving into the, across the lungs. This is probably the first time I've really seen the lungs get completely and totally ignored. Uh, the second yeah. thing is, Valkyries coming into the southern side. Five out squads of Valkyries. Okay, that's fine. Six squads of Cursantes going the other direction. <laughs> so it's like, good luck. Yeah, you, you just don't... You just... Just get enough. I have the tanks around the town. Treat it like Escape from New York. It's a convict area. Yeah. We don't go inside. You just warden it off. And here comes the Marauder. Just a nucleus offensive. Yep. And that P3 might even go down. He's at least forced to fall back. That's just as good. And this is actually how he drops 14th. It goes to 14 tanks. This other Valkyrie squad's going to get taken out. So, he did lose part of the lung, and it is going to be a problem because there's a pack 38 there, and the pack 38 is not quite worth its weight in gold, but it's worth an awful lot. Ooh, ju 87s coming on in, ju 87 with a cluster, okay. ju 87 with the actual bombing run. Interesting. What's he... Huh. I, I, no, I agree with it. I think that's just the, probably the best call he yeah. can make under, under the circumstances. 
it's just Santi. Yeah. I like his push. So do I. I think the funny thing about this is that there's just this one boy's rifle that's firing at the T-34. Um, <laughs> which is just not going to do anything for a long, long time. Yeah, oh boy. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. This, is, this is very too much focus down south here from Tigger. He needs to... I mean, he can secure his lung position... You shut up the tanks, long range, you, you pretty much got it on, in the bag. There's only like one pack 40 on the field, another one just can be brought up. And after that, there's no real scary tanks. Heck, it's not even that much scary airplanes. I mean, the moderate mod is scary, but you can deal with it. Same thing with the Baltimore. Just get some anti air. You got Flak 88, you got uh, the Verbal Rind on the track. True. You, you do have all of those things, true. But you also don't own the, the real estate to the south. Yeah. Also, look, there's a pack 38 slowly getting brought on in. It's like, oh, yes, you've wasted half your ammunition on that, from the boys on that tank. Sure, in that case, then, let's bring in a pack 38, the door knocker. Let's do this. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've never seen in town. so much just, like, stuff in that southern town before. Yeah, that is true. It's and I was intimidating. That. Yeah, but again, like you said, it doesn't matter. It's completely unnecessary. Yeah, it's... Un unnecessary for taking a push, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, of course, though, his shrimp pioneers, they are going to get the, the lung, except bombs. Array. Ooh. Oh. I wonder if she got completely whiffed on. Interesting. Very lucky. I was going to allow Tigger to clear off the lung, secure the flag, and as you see, he has a lot of panzers up north. He's got the Valkyries being brought in to secure the lung position. This could... This is looking pretty good here for Tigger. It's looking better for Tigger, yes. He still has some ground to make up here. Yeah. But like he can just contain that town. Well, the problem is at the southern side, now there's just Mal <laughs> Baltimore's and Marauders just going to pound every single tank again and again and again and again. And if that happens, that's one, two. That's two more flags. And not for nothing right now, all the armor's into the northern side. Actually, potentially yeah. even three flags. Like yeah, Tigger could be a little bit more defensive with his T-34s down south and actually hide them in the forest for a bit rather than just right out in the open. He's not afraid. He should be, but he's not afraid. No. Uh, the Kersantis, for example, getting hammered as well, but, you know, those guys are <laughs> kind of used to it by now. Politeri, in the meantime, trying to... In the northern side, excuse me. Trying to push back these air slash troopers, successful in doing so, but every single time that they have this infantry just be, you know, pushed back, P4 comes in. P4 has nobody that can actually be fought. I say that, but I also must notice that the proletariat still do have those Panzerfausts. They do. And that Pack 40 still doth exist. And doth claim another kill. Very good for the Pack 40. The Valkyries aren't pushing through the lung. That one lone proletary squad is going to have to hold off against a lot of Germans. Spoiler alert, they probably won't. Without flag and the center being captured, should bring us to a 13 11 fatigue, which means he can start scoring on the scoreboard, because by God, he kind of needs to. True. Um, there is a bit of a, an attempt here to start pushing the other direction, and I think we'll see a Marauder here soon enough. But, um, yeah. This is, this is now going to be on Herr Robert's favor to have to claw this back. And there is a bit of a resurgence shove to the south. So here's the question. Where do you put your bombers? Southern side or the central side of the lung? Oh, oof. Mm, that's, that's tough, actually. That's tough. Because you kind of want to stop his southern push of mechanized troops at the same time. All these Valkyries are pretty... I'd say southern side is just a bit more uh, consistent because the guys are out in the open. That's well, if you're bombing the lung, you're just kind of hoping that the guys in the forest are getting blapped. That's true. And that's kind of where I, my thought was, too. Um, the funny thing for me, though, is that since there's so many different just mad madmen down to the southern side, the whole, you know, fanatical traits and all of that, you're allowing them to waste an awful lot of munitions, not really getting a whole lot for it. So part of me almost says, let them shoot at me, you know? Yeah, that's kind of right. He has them right in the front line, I would say. 
It's just to race time, race to ammunition. You're not just gonna rush in with a, like an initial off map strike and force him to surrender. You're gonna have to kill every single one of him. And there's many ones of him. Yes, there are. Kersanti's over here against the Valkyries, and, the, and we're now going to see really just how ridiculously good the Kersantis actually are. With the MD-42s, um, which always feel to me, again, like discount Thompsons. Yeah. It's a very odd-looking SMG. And more munitions are falling down between the Marauder and the Baltimore. And there goes half of the German advance. <laughs> Yeah that's, yeah, that's really all I can say to that. It's just like, yeah. yowza. He doesn't have a lot of airplanes in his deck, but by God, he's really getting his money's worth out of him. Here's actually the really funny thing. Blim does coming in. There's still a Panzer Strike squad in the area. <laughs> the Panzer Strike squad can come running. <laughs> it's really screw him up. Um, lung position in the meantime as well, though. Starting to engage a lot of these troops out in the open to the eastern side. And the pack 40 is now getting pushed. There's a pack 38 there also going to get pushed. It's a, a half track rush, and I, I actually really like this decision. Yeah, if the half tracks get killed, it doesn't really matter too much. You kind of want them to lead the front, but her Robert doesn't have a whole lot of anti tank guns left. And I think actually, I mean, half tracks have pushed them so bloody aggressively, it's just going to work. Look at that. Well, the pack 38, they're, they're probably going to get the, the pack 40. The pack 38 yeah. should be able to shoot two of them. Yeah, point blank, you can't miss. He'll find a way, though. Oh, why are you retreating? No! Ugh. Pack 40 kill, that's a big kill, and the pack 38 is, yeah, he's not a smart move. Not a smart move, indeed. Uh, more border cheese coming in here to go after the lung. And, you know, Valkyries are going to be hard to push back. This is where you need to deploy your bombers now. You know the southern push is dead. A phoenix for the enemy, that is. You still have an absolute metric butt ton of troops down there. Like, there is truly, what, one, two, three, four, what are we going to call it? Approximately 20 squads? Like a company, pretty much, at this point. Oh, several companies. That's almost an entire, that's literally, I uh, think. There's, there's a company. Okay, fine. Um, I think a company's like 80 dudes, so, you know. Uh, that's like a, I guess it depends. But I think like, I don't know, like 160-ish. Uh, I guess I'm going. I'm going German late, late company here oh. for the war. Fair enough. No, but it's fair. Um, but just again, absurd numbers of troops. This is now he's trying to go to try to reclaim the lung. If he can get that lung back, it's over. I, I truly believe if that lung is taken back, there's not a lot on the other side, and there still are things no. like these 75 mils that are just going to start lofting rounds downrange, trying to go and pick off kind of you know little nitpicky targets here and there. Yeah. We've got uh, <laughs> the Blinder us now. I, I like us quite a lot. I mean, the Valkyries are just taking a whole heap of, like, just fire here. They're going to have to be forced back into the forest. Uh, it's going to give her Robert a good time get. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. I see. But here, Robert's going to donate a couple of squads here at Borshi. And the JU-87s are just doing a really, really good job. Of just shutting that down for half a second. <laughs> I, lo I, I love seeing just like the regular Stuka do like the little loop de loop thing. Yep. Oh, and I understand that at that point in the role, I didn't really do that anymore because it was just like sure side. But still, it's just. I, I love that they kept it in. Well, the 12 sevens are over that Mustang. Um, Not killing the appropriate Stuka in my mind, but that's just me being nitpicky. Being very nitpicky, in fact. Um, and the lung slowly is getting taken. Slowly. The question is, is it, is it too slow? It's probably a little bit too slow. I mean, time is really not on her Robert's side. I mean, Boat, he has a slight income advantage, but Maverick Vanguard doesn't really matter. It's just really terms of equipment. He's lost a lot of his heavy and very limited anti-tank. Once again, if, you know... I mean, our Panzer four up north is pretty much uncontested unless, you know, you bomb it hell and back with the Baltimore's and the Marders, but it's a Flak 88 now. And that Flak 88 can cause a bit of damage to heavy bombers. It certainly can. And it doesn't help either that this one half-track continues to be behind the lines. It's just being a pain in the ass, for lack of a better phrase. Yeah. Quite weird to see a half-track survive that long and actually be combat effective. True. 
True, but it's also quite weird to see a partisan division be this effective and this efficient for as long as it has been. Yeah. It is like so many dudes that are thrown to the front line. I mean, this this is the meme machine, and I mean yeah. that as respectfully as possible. But, like, right now, bomb the town. Ooh, no, don't bomb the center. Baltimore don't need to go there, my friend. Marauder, bomb the town. On your own troops, it doesn't matter. Flatten the town. Yeah, these Valkyries, and I mean, you just see a whole lot of fire support here of the girl on the T-34s. The Valkyries, of course, have a lot of firepower within themselves, but, uh, yeah, just out in the open, this is asking just to get blown down and back. Uh, Baltimore going down, um, kind of getting hit by just ground fire in general, I believe. But we are over here, and I think Herr Robert might, like you said, finally be seeing that there's a little bit of writing on the wall. It's a little hard to make out. He's not sure what it says just yet. Because he is picking up a couple of cheeky flags here and there. And is there, the, at long last, the Marauder being brought on in? Yes, the Marauder's coming in. And, folks, we're going to see the closest thing to Hiroshima that we're going to get on this game. <laughs> Skadoosh. And there we go. You have seven squads, you know, either destroyed, stressed, everything like that. And he's bored you for some reason at this point. Turn off your fire, my friend. Just rush on in. There's no one left to contest you. Yeah. You need a really... That's a very critical moment to just run into the town and get into cover here. But, yeah, it's just a missed micro from her, Robert, unfortunately. The Panzer IV also pushing all, up a little bit to ward off that one Borshi. Yeah, it's still going to be tough because that one Panzer IV and flat guns, whatever, can pretty much screen out. That area. Really, her Robert's best bet is just holding on to that town up north, that is. That is. But the funny thing right now is still only 1311. It's 1311 because it's a partisan division. This should not be happening. Yeah. And it's going to be 1212 in a second as the board chief finally, finally get in, hopefully debark before they get shot out of their truck. Because Valkyrie are falling back, so this could be a surrender. These McLeek Grenadiers are running pretty much their Winchester on everything that matters. They have STGs over here in the one squad, but that's a shrunken squad. That's going to be a shrunken squad pretty quickly. Yeah, just a whole lot of firepower. And the proletariat also pushing in close. They do have the Panzer Faust. They just get into the building. They can kill that dastardly half-track, finally. And they do. And they do. So it's a 12-12 with a partisan division. Down to the south, it should be, it should be a 12-12 in a second again as this T-34 finally gets taken on out. The Commandeer comes on in. He's uh, he's piotting, so don't expect too much, folks. But the piot has yeah. been deadly enough before. And, wow, that was very good. Yeah, to, it was, that was yeah. an HE charge. Uh, imagine being a uh, like Yugoslav partisan, right? You get the airdrop from the SRE or SRS, you know, American Brits, whatever. Mm -hmm. They open up the crate. It's like, oh, anti tank, open up. <sighs> they sent us a pee up. <laughs> we couldn't get a bazooka? Like, what's this? Same thing with like, the fighters in Warsaw. Like, Jesus Christ, we're, we're fighting for our lives here, and you sent us a pee up? <laughs> Who did you piss yeah, off? But... <laughs> well, I did sleep with his wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I. But and that's the thing, isn't it? Is that you're looking at a lot of these, a lot of these partisan divisions, and and God help me, I again, like we talked about last time with the flamethrowers, I can't even imagine just being like, yeah, you got to fight with whatever you found, or whatever you found, yeah. man. You find that guy's got a set of dentures, you bite that and the next guy in the throat. Like there's there is, it's ridiculous just to think about yeah. the stuff they went through. Yeah, especially um in Yugoslavia, it was it, it was pretty brutal. The yeah, entire front of the war. <laughs> I mean, it's a Balkan. What, what do you expect? But the funny thing is, it's 12 12 right about now. The flags are very, very similar. The tickets are decently similar. No, and the Borgi, for some reason, debark. I thought these guys were headed up. Yep, one's going for one flag. A little optimistically, I feel. But one's going for one flag, and I feel like if these pioneers go down in the southern town, this could be like just a shock over here at the end of it all. Yeah. Very close. And normally the funny thing is we see the southern town just become a meat grinder, and it sort of was. Sort of. Mm -hmm. But this ended up being a 
fascinating experience, let me tell you. Yeah, it's just very bloody back and forth here. Just the partisans, just really, it's just the, it's kind of like with um, the SSU pose. Mm -hmm. And that ticket does drop out because mm -hmm. this is the 30 minute tournament. So good job to her, Robert. He managed to hold barely until relieved. Well, I'm relieved for him. I mean, the Marauder's got, what, seven kills? Seven kills right there from the Marauder. Another Marauder, five more kills from him. Pioneery, strong. The Commandeer. So this is the Commandeer in the north. He had four Piat rounds. He killed four vehicles. He he made that Piat work? The Pack 75, the Capture 75. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven vehicles there. These Partisans... Not to be out front, out of fought, definitely punching above their weight here, ridiculously so. Yeah, Robert really made good use of his very limited anti tank and also just the aircraft. Yeah, really. Between that and just the human rave tactics, that's pretty much how you have to play at division. You human rave, you hold on to any town or forest area, and then bomb everything to hell and back. Absolutely. And, but the funny thing is, if you look at the losses, you have a P3 over here, Chen's, what is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 squads there. The SPW by lots. He killed lots of individuals right there, let me tell you. And it just, I can't help but wonder what would have been had there been just a little bit more artillery. Yeah, yeah, it's very close there. With the 30 minute rule set, it does require you to push quite aggressively. And it was just gaps within Tigger's line that match, which her Robert managed to exploit like right at the end, pushing on through in the south and central position to get those few flags to stop a heavy point bleed. That was a pretty clutch move there from Robert. It absolutely was. It absolutely was. But ladies and gentlemen, this is why we do castings for games like this here. So truly well done to her Robert for winning with the Partisans. Nice to see those guys being featured here. Uh, Tigger, unfortunately, not pulling out the victory on that one, despite a very, very good uh, push on that northern side. I think, man, had he just tried to contain on the southern side, he would have been just perfect. Yeah. But, of course, much easier for us to say that from where we sit over here after the fact and with 2020 vision. So, well fought regardless. Um, any final thoughts on your side, sir? No, I don't. Guys, in that case, then, that's going to do it for us today. We'll see you next time. I'm Conal Work. I'm Rangroo. Take it easy.